and welcome back to the channel. Girl, I can't believe there was a time where I didn't drink coffee. What the fuck? Because the heat of this, oh my god, it's like life going to my veins. Oh, it's in a Christmas mug. Because first November, which was a while ago, as soon as it's November, it's Christmas. Even though I do drink out of this mug all year, but you know, it's appropriate to have it out now. Oh, girl, 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 I can't even begin to tell you, like, <laughs> I'm like, my brain can't even, I was like, should I even vlog, and I'm like, I don't have a video, I was like, I need to like, vent all of this shit out, right? Currently on the way to work, it is, fuck, what day of the week is it? Is it on Tuesday? No, it's not, it's Wednesday. Yes, it's Wednesday. Hasn't been. Is today seven days I've been working in a row? I think so. Tomorrow we'll make it eight. I worked last night, right? I was supposed to work. I worked like an even shift yesterday. I was supposed to work an even shift today, but the other person that I do like does my job as well couldn't do it, so I swapped. Not thinking that it was a big deal because it's not at the time. So I'm working this morning and I'm working tomorrow morning and then I'm going on my trip on Friday. <laughs> Listen, do I just is my car currently nearly out of petrol? Yes. Does, is it out of window washer fluid? Yes. Um am I out of groceries almost completely? Mm, yes. Yesterday my mother mentioned to me that my dog uh, Riley that her her bottom was annoying her and my sister had mentioned it the day before as well but like oh I think something's like weird with Riley and I was like I looked at Riley she was fine she was wagging her tail she was like coming down to my room all normal things so I didn't think anything of it but then Molly mentioned it to me yesterday and I was like oh my god okay I'm gonna have to get her a vet appointment so I had a ringer yesterday I rang the vets yesterday morning looking for an appointment and she was like I don't have anything today which was yesterday I have one for today Wednesday and I was like sure that's fine um, and then she's like oh hold on a minute I've got one for quarter to five today which was yesterday evening and I was like sure but of course that's when I was gonna be at work so I had to get my mother to take Riley down to the vet now Riley in the four years that I had her four or five years that I've had Riley she's never had to go to the vet for anything other than like a routine thing she went First time, a couple months after I got her, she went to get neutered and um, a microchip in her neck at the same time when she was under. And every year I take her for like her checkup slash like yearly top up vaccination. I take her once a year. I take her every like July. Once a year because like, you know, you should do those things. Um, and she's never had to go with an illness, never. She got, she's allergic to bee stings, but my sister, older sister, she's a veterinary nurse, like a head veterinary nurse. Um, she was there when the first time it happened. She was, it was my, my nephew's christening the first time Riley had a reaction to a bee. And my sister knew what to do. Like we didn't need to take her to the vet. So my sister was like, this is all you do. You give them literally like the human um, allergy pills. Like a wee tiny, like she's small, really small, so we give her like a wee tiny one, or we have one, depends what size one you get, but that's all you do, because she's like, this is the same stuff they put in an injection form at the vet, so this is like, this helps her. So I didn't need to take her to the vet for that problem, but Riley's never been sick otherwise. She's never had anything that's lasted longer than a day, should I say. Um, but this time, she's like licking her ass continuously. And she's like, she twitches and like, um, like you can, she's like wondering like what's going on. <laughs> her ass. I was like, for fuck's sake. So, mom, I took her yesterday because I had to go to work. So while I was work, Michelle, or I was texting my younger sister because she was at home. I don't think she went. I didn't like get to ask her if she went with her or not. She might have, but I don't think she did because um, Michelle texted me that. Mama said that the vet said, I think it was maybe a nurse, maybe it was the nurse who she saw, that um, Riley's 
glands down there are badly infected. Now, I don't know if this is verbatim of the, of the vet or the nurse or whoever she saw said badly infected, but they're infected. Both of them, apparently there's two. Never knew this. I had a Jack Russell for 17 years, Ginger, my old dog, never had this issue ever. I've had, we have three dogs in the house currently. This is never, this is the first time this has ever had a problem with her anal glands. <laughs> this is a new issue for me. Um, so apparently there's two of them. One's worse, one's um, more infected than the other. So the less infected one, she got it cleaned out, but she couldn't get the other one cleaned out because it was so swollen. So, Riley had to come back today. She, Mama just told me there now, because I saw Mama this morning before I went to work, Mama said that um, the, the lady was like, it has to happen today. So, and apparently she doesn't know when they're gonna fit Riley in today. So, Riley this morning, between nine and 10, has to be left out to the vet. And when will she get seen to? We don't know. So, um, I left a couple fifties on the counter. I was like, she was, I was like, I'll pay for some of it. I was like, Mom, I was like, come on. I'm working every fucking day. I can pay for Riley's vet bill, okay? It's not gonna be hundreds of euro. She's not, because she has to be, did I say this? She has to be sedated to get the other one flushed out, is what she has to happen. Okay, she has to be sedated and like, what the fuck? So mommy basically said, oh sure. She's like, you take that in case um, it's four o'clock, because I'm done at four o'clock today. So, because it's currently like seven in the morning. So mommy's like, oh Riley, I'll ring you if Riley's still there and needs to be collected. So I could be collecting Riley on the way home. Or she could go down at nine o'clock and be out by 12. I don't know. But I did message my older sister who is a veterinary nurse yesterday and told her all that. She's like, yeah, that's pretty standard. That That's typical that would happen. But she's like, my second opinion. <laughs> I'm like, is this correct what they're doing? I trust these vets. They're pretty good for the most part. Um, and she was like, yes, it needs, to, it needs to happen. So it's good that it's getting fixed. So I feel so much guilt not being there because I know how Riley hates the vet. Riley, when I took her like a couple a couple months ago to get her vaccination and she hides under my arm when the vet's like touching her. Like the vet usually like feels around and like, you know, looks at their teeth and their ears and like takes her temperature and shit and Riley hates it. Like she hides under my arms. She won't take a treat from the vet. She doesn't like it. She, in the waiting room, she hides from other dogs when they come in. Like she hides under my legs hides under my arm, like she tries to crawl up under my fucking neck, hates it, she, and she doesn't like being left alone, even worse, the fact that she's going to be down there waiting around to get seen to, oh my god, right, it's like my child, it makes me want to cry, I think, about it. and of course, today is the first day of my period as well, so I can't trust my emotions, because I'm like, am I just, anything that's even remotely sad makes me want to cry. Riley being <laughs> scared in the vets is like the biggest trigger ever. But of course, I have to go to work. So I can't be there. So that's fun. <sighs> Deep breath. Is that my, my venting done? I don't know. Um. So yeah, I have to go to work. I have no videos for Friday. I'm just having fun. It's just, it's just all fun. I'm gonna go to work and then I'll see you after. Okay, and we're in the car again. No, um, I t Mommy texted me um, to say that Riley would be ready when I was done work. And I was like, what, ha like, the exact time I'm finished work. And she texted me back and she said, like, um, 
all of the animals are ready between four and six. So I think like if your dog or your animal had a procedure during the day, like the pickup time is between four and six. So I need to go. It's on the way home, luckily enough. So I need to, I'm going to stop first and get petrol, fill up my window washer stuff because it, I need it's done. And I'm not going to do that when I have Riley in the car because she's going to be like, oh, sad. So, and then I'm going to pick her up. <sighs> it's just, just another day, another day in the fucking madhouse. But yeah, let's, that was a, a horribly busy day at work as well. So there's somebody parked like right up on the where you put like you can there's a part where you can like put a couple euro in and like you can fill up your window wash or whatever. Um, but that is filled up, so we're going to or someone's parked right in front of it. So we're just gonna like, forget about that part. Fifty euro didn't even fill it up. <laughs> so now we're gonna go to the other end of the town and pick up Riley Woo. And this is actually, um, and the the vets is the same vets that I, our family, or have used for fucking 30 years. Um, since we've ever started getting pets. And my dad uses this vets for the farm as well. But just in the summer there, they got a new building. So it's not in their old building anymore. It's like, which I just, I just remembered. It's not where... I'm currently driving to. It is at the other end of the town. So I've never been to it before, but like it's a brand new building. Their old building was like so like small and squished and like they had two rooms. They didn't really have like an, an animal holding area. Um, so at least I get to see, I'm going there for like a sad reason, but at least I get to A, pick up Riley Roo and B, see like the new building. So I guess there's that, I guess. I'm trying to see the silver lining. Cause my bank balance is gonna go. Hopefully this isn't, hopefully this isn't too expensive. It probably is, but Riley's worth it. She's worth all the money in the bank. Riley says she's high as a kite. She says she's on drugs. Drugs galore. She's high as a fucking kite. Um, yeah, I've got a whole bag of stuff. It was 84 euro and 56 cent. Sedation was 20 euro. To express anal glands, it was 35 euro. Drugs, 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 drugs. Catheter, 4 euro. She's high as a kite. Um, I have... After... <laughs> it's so cute. Her, her name on the thing is Riley Grant. <laughs> She's got my name. I've got um, antibiotics. That she has to take um, morning and evening for five days, and then I've got liquid pain relief that she has to take directions once a day. Okay, once a day, and they want her to come back in a month's time. Apparently, one of the glands like ruptured, so it, like came inside out or something. I don't know, girl. It sounded terrible. Um, but the ladies in there are very nice, so they are, they're really kind, and the lady like carried right there, and she was like, she's so adorable, and I was like, she's fucking high as a kid, she's asleep. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that like, she's sedated, because at least she doesn't know what the fuck is going on, and they're like, she'll be groggy this evening, it's normal, 
Um, if she doesn't eat anything, don't give her the painkillers because it will upset her stomach. Um, and to come back in a month's time to for a checkup. So I'm assuming to make sure like they don't the glands don't like fill up again. Oh my god, I don't know what the fuck. I'm just, if it's not one thing, it's another. And that receptionary is very it's very nice. It's very brand new. Oh my god, my coffee's gonna spill over. My old coffee from this morning. It's very brand new. It's lovely. Yeah. So let's get Riley Wu home and in her bed for the evening. Okay, so we're home. Riley is very high, so she is just sleeping. Um, took my makeup off. I'm getting a sore head. I've been craving a takeaway. I'm so hungry. Do you know when you've gone past being hungry? I've gone past being hungry because I rang the takeaway twice. Didn't answer. Left it about half an hour. They answered. So... I'm gonna sit and enjoy my takeaway. I got a burger, curry, curry sauce, and some chips. I'm gonna watch my YouTube video and eat this. This is the situation we have currently. Hot water bottle in the pants. <laughs> um, I've eaten some painkillers, but my stomach hurts. It's painful. And of course, it's like, oh, well, it's not a time now, is it? It's late. I my eyes are tired. My eyes are tired. My eyes are tired. I Riley's doing great. That's the update. Riley's doing great. Um, she slept on my bed for about two hours. She like couldn't even open her eyes. She was that like lip de lip. But she got up fine. She was outside. She's had something to eat. She's currently in her bed sleeping with um doodles. So tomorrow she'll be starting her antibiotics and getting some more painkillers. And yeah, I don't think there's much else. I edited today's Thursday. I had no, today's not Thursday. It's, well, it's Thursday now at one o'clock in the morning, but in my brain it's Wednesday, so you know. So it was Wednesday. I have Friday's video edited. I still need to do... I'm going on my trip on Friday, so... I need... Well, I don't know I don't know how I'm going to swap them about. I need to do a Friday and a Tuesday. Because I'm going on Friday, coming back on Tuesday, so I'm not going to have time. So, I have... I need to do two videos. I've got one edited. This is going to be the second. I know, look at me, last minute, huh? And yes, it is half one in the morning. And am I working in half one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have to leave for work in six hours. The limit is like just 
doing great because I'm working a morning shift tomorrow, which will be day in a row. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm working an eight hour shift and then I'm coming home and I have the whole evening free. And I'll have all of Friday morning free because uh, the flight's not until like that afternoon, like four o'clock or something. <sighs> So I just need to edit this video and then I can go to sleep. Who would have thought? So I think I'm going to end this video here. I know I don't, that's probably a bit of a. God, I look rough. I look rough, but hey ho, that's the way the cookie, cookie crumbles. Um, Yeah, this video might have been short. It might have been about like three clips, but it's a video and I'm going to edit it. So, um, stick around because the next few videos are going to be me and my trip. And I'll finally tell you where I'm going and what I'm doing. <laughs> and I was talking to my sister today about it, so it's exciting. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment down below and I will see you on the next video. Follow me on my Instagram because you'll probably see where I am and what I'm doing before YouTube does. I'll probably be taking pictures. Um, my Instagram is It's Laura Irish. See you then. Love you. Bye.